What's up YouTube? Before we get into today's video, I've seen all these other best Fortnite console settings videos on YouTube and not one video showed how many wins they have or anything like that. They're claiming to have the best settings but they won't even show the people how many wins they have. So I'm here to actually bring you guys the best console settings you can have for Fortnite and be able to show you guys that I actually know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to bring you guys a comparison of me and Ninja's Hyper, someone that's considered to be one of the best Fortnite players in the world. And this comparison consists of our last seven days of solo matches. As you guys can see, our win percentages are very similar. He only has a 0.6 better win percentage than me in the last seven days. Now I'm not focusing on any other statistic in this comparison. You guys can take a look for yourselves. I'm just trying to prove to you guys that I actually know what I'm talking about by showing you that I win the majority of my games. The screenshots of our stats shown were taken a minute apart from each other, and there was no Photoshop done to them or anything like that. And as you guys can see, I have 299 wins total at the time this video was recorded, and the majority of those being in solo and duo, which require more skill as there's less people to rely on. So now that you guys have seen I know how to win a game or two, I think you guys will have more confidence in my reasoning for why each setting is the way they are. So without further ado guys, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and trigger those bells to make sure you never miss an upload and click the like button for this highly requested video. Thank you guys so much and now let's get into today's video. Alright guys, so let's get into what you guys have finally been waiting for. For your X and Y sensitivity, you're going to want to have this in one of the fives. And by one of the fives, I mean... One of these fives. I have mine five clicks up once you get to five, so if you adjust your slider by moving it with the D-pad, I have mine clicked up all the way to five. Anywhere in that range is pretty good. Um, I would recommend not being on the lower end of five, being on the higher end, you know, so you can build your one by one forts fast. You don't want your sensitivity too high. A lot of people think you need your high sensitivity to build fast. This is not true. The only thing that would change is your one by one forts and you would be taking away your close quarter combat shotgun hip fire accuracy. Next, for your ADS sensitivity, this is for whenever you're aiming down with like an assault rifle, 0.5 is the perfect medium. If you've ever played shooting games, you know that a lower sensitivity leads to higher accurate shots. So 0.5 is pretty low in this game. Anything higher than that, I wouldn't recommend. You would just be missing shots and um, just because your thumbstick is moving too fast. 0.5 is the perfect balance to be able to lead your target and be able to keep up with moving targets from far range. Snipers always play on high sensi sensitivities and that's so they can keep up with moving targets because they're in a scoped view. Therefore you need a high sensitivity to keep up with moving targets. If you have this way too low, you're not going to be able to keep up with running targets. You need to be able to track targets and lead your shots. And 0.65 allows you to do that, and it also allows you to perfectly place your cursor right over the enemy's head and get that accurate headshot. Uncapped frame rate. I have this set to on. I think this only makes a difference if you play on a monitor. If you play on a TV, I don't think you'll be able to notice the higher FPS, which is this allows this allows you to play at a higher FPS and not a capped frame rate. It says you'll play, uh, you'll have higher input lag, but I have never never noticed higher input lag or anything like that whenever um, building or anything. So I would like to play with this on. It makes the game run a lot more smooth here. Sprint cancels reload. You want to have this off. You don't want your sprint to cancel your reload. Um, that's just not beneficial for you and it can screw you over in situations. Tap to search slash interact. This is very preference guys. The difference between the two options is if you have this set to on like I do. If you press X over a chest or an ammo crate, it'll automatically fill up the little loading circle for you whenever you get those chests instead of having to hold it throughout the whole duration. So I'm lazy, I like to have that on. Next, auto equip better items. I don't know exactly what this does, but I have it on. All of the top players play with it on. No need to take it off. Next thing, vibration, guys. You definitely want to have this off. If you have the vibration on, it's going to cause your controller to rumble, which makes your hand move and then leads to inaccurate shots. You never want to have vibration on. It might feel a little weird whenever you first turn it off if you've been playing with it on. But trust me guys, you will have more accurate gunfights whenever having this off. Next thing, aim assist. Guys, we play on console, you definitely want to have aim assist on. I'm sure you guys know this already. Um, you definitely can't play with that off. When it comes to reset building choice, you definitely want to have this on. You don't want to forget 
to switch to a wall and someone shoots you from behind and you're out there pl placing domes. You don't want to do that. This also allows you to build faster one by one forts and be able to push people more effectively by placing walls in front of your ramps. Next thing is show spectator count. This is obviously preference. I play with that on. Um, if, you know, if you get nervous, turn that bad boy off. Brightness. My settings on my monitor for my brightness is at the highest maximum possible. So I don't need to really mess with this. It's already um, high enough to where I can see in the dark places. If you can't see in dark places where people could be hiding in shadows and whatnot, you want to definitely want to turn that up. But for me, I'm good. I can see everyone in the dark places. And then this is the strongest recommendation, guys, I can make. For your configuration, you definitely want to be playing on Combat Pro. Combat Pro allows you to switch in your inventory from left to right, not just right. Being able to move left and right in your inventory and in your build pieces allows you to build way faster. This is definitely the strongest recommendation and the best way you can improve your game if you're already playing on standard. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more video ideas, drop them down below in the comments and I will make a video on it if it's a good idea. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Slice Charlotte and I'm out. Peace.